What is up, YouTube? This is clumsy. This is a clumsy sloth girl. Nina is kind of sitting back today. Yeah. While, <laughs> while I show you my Flunderese deck. Um, so, important note, because you're going to see the side deck, you're going to be like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> It is changes based on, like, you know, who you're going up against. A lot of the time I don't even use the side deck. Uh, these are, like, the main cards I use if I'm going to use the side deck. Um, like, other cards are kind of up to your discretion, like, what you're, you're what you're going up against. But for the most part, these are the main ones that I would, like, absolutely include. Maybe Cosmic Cyclone or something. But um, to, for me, that kind of clogs things up a little bit. And... I don't go up against a lot of back row decks, so this is usually a lot of... This usually works for me. Like, the Dark Samorg prevents, you know, uh, the back row decks I do go up against um, from setting up very well. Uh, the Feather uh, Duster, I can search if they destroy Feather Storm. Um, I typically have Cosmic Cyclone or Twin Twisters or something in here. I've been kind of testing out which one I want to um, run. Um, but, yeah, like, it's kind of up to you. These are the main ones that are important. Um... And the extra deck is kind of a joke because uh, we only really use the Entis, the Omega, and um, the Ferrojet and the Shurex. And these are just here because I love Lirolusk, you know. They're just here because I like them. And technically, I can make them if uh, if the situation is right. But that happens, like, like I would say, like, not even 1% of the time. But it has happened, and it is funny when I make a Zeus. So that's technic That's just why they're in there, because I like Lirolusk and because it can technically happen. <laughs> uh, so uh, these are the, the main decks, the important stuff, obviously, you know. Um, so for this, we run um, two Impin, you know, um, and Ariza. Those are our tributes. Um, a lot of the time when we're uh, using Dark Samor, it gets the back row deck, we'll, like side out a DD Crow, because a lot of the time they don't really, um, we don't really need to focus on, um, we can search DD Crow, so we don't need like three of them. Um... Let's see, uh, but they're in there because I usually go up against Drytron, um, Nina, so, <laughs> you know, um... I like what I like. Yeah, she likes what she likes. Um, I run, um, three Rabina, obviously, <laughs> you know, um, searches almost everything, um, obviously it doesn't search Ecclesia, but, or Ash Blossom, but it searches, like, everything else, so... It's like the best card in the deck. This, that, and Eaglin. And then I run three Eaglin, which searches my tribute monsters, you know. Um, and then I run um, one Toucan, um, because it, <laughs> you can recycle, like, literally every Flunderese card, even the traps and the spells. And it's really funny to, like, you know, like, banish uh, one of these, like, with Ostrich or whatever, if the, your opponent destroys it, and then immediately recycle it with Toucan. And then go into a tribute summon. And then I run, um, um, did I go over Ostrich yet? Yeah, I go over Ostrich to banish shit, um, and plus it's just an extra normal summon. Um, then I use Ecclesia, um, fun, uh, something really important, never special summon her, um, always, like, normal summon her after, like, you know, like, imp in, if you, if you can. If you just, if you just kind of hit her without any of the other monsters, it's fine, you know, uh, you can normal summon her, search uh, punishment, but that's not ideal, but... Uh, you know, just because if you do special summon her, she will lock you out of your normal summon. So that's really important to know. Um, then I run three Ash Blossom, which, hilariously enough, you can actually recycle that with Ryza. And oh my <laughs> But Ryza's really funny. Um, Ryza, I typically use to uh, recycle my Feather Storms. Like, just like st stack them with the, the Ryza. Um, <laughs> the Ryza's insane. I've summoned this, fun this son of a bitch like three times um, in a turn. On my opponent's turn. <laughs> and it, it can happen. Typically I summon it like twice. And it just ruins their whole turn. Um, then I run the 3 DD Crow. Um, one Terraforming. I know you can get drolled playing it. Um, but to be honest. like You need to hit the field spell. You know what I mean? The field spell is absolutely necessary. Um, I mean not absolutely necessary. You can play without it. But um, it pretty much. It makes like every single one of these. Um. Every it, it basically makes any of these Funderese cards every single one of them because you can just automatically get any of these to your hand. So if you hit Eaglin and you have the field spell, you can just activate the field spell, um, banish Rabina, then get Rabina or whatever, you know. Um, and it's just so good because it basically makes every single one of these full combo. So the terraforming is absolutely necessary because um, 
the field spell basically um, it chain blocks like no tomorrow, and it lets you search literally any of your fun, uh, Flundery's cards. Um, and that's kind of important to note. Like um, this deck, uh, you would think it'd be really easy to like Ash Blossom, you know. Um, but if you if you use the field spell, if you chain block right, if you play if you play your cards right, it's pretty hard to um, like you know uh, negate the right things. Um, I've gotten around uh, quite a few hand traps, and it's really fun. And the field spell is like really what helps you do that. So um, you know, and if you get trolled, uh, worst comes to worst, a lot of the time, I, I if I get trolled, I I'll like have Eaglin, you know, because I, I you know I usually either hit Rabina or Eaglin. If I hit Toucan or you know, it's really sucks if I just hit Ostrich for the start and no, none of the other Flunderies, but um, and I can't use the field spell. But um, you know, like if I if I hit any of the wind monsters, like. I just have, and I have Feather Storm, which I usually have, you know, uh, it's pretty easy to get Feather Storm. I, I'm like, okay, well, you hand trap me. I can't search anymore because of the Droll, but you don't get to have a turn either, which, you know, feels good. Um, so I run three of that, uh, three of the Field Spell, uh, Mysterious Map, you know. Um, then I run um, three Pot of Duality, um, which is just free as fuck. It's just like, hey, let me just look at the top three cards of my deck and just grab one, you know. Um, what? Oh, you're you're hitting the thing right here, right? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> um, I don't know, baby. I'm just trying to. I, I I don't know. I'm sorry. It's okay. I didn't mean to. Um, uh. So yeah, I make um. Uh, fuck. What what was I saying, baby? I don't know. I think you were on duality. Yeah, duality. So it's like stipulation is that you can't special summon. Well, you're not doing that anyway. So who cares? It's free as fuck. Um. Then I run three pot of prosperity. Um. You know, you can banish six off of off of this and search six cards. You know, uh, like from the top of your deck, and just grab one. And um, it's so funny because like there's so many searchers in this in this deck. Like you know what I mean? Like it, it's like you're almost guaranteed. You're like almost guaranteed to hit what you want. You know, if they draw all you socks, but you can you can still get around that if they don't OTK you. Which a lot of the time, a lot of the decks in this format, or at least the ones I faced, minus Drytron can't really OTK you from the start. Um, it's pretty hard because they have a lot of setup and control going on. Um, and uh, this deck basically auto wins against um, Eldritch, um, actually against Tribe Brigade, um, against like, uh, I don't think anyone's, I haven't seen Dragon Link in a while, but it auto wins against that. Um, and it auto wins against a lot of the meta decks. Um, but like, yeah, like uh, Drytron is, it's it can it actually wins pretty consistently against Drytron, um, but like, ooh, like those uh, those nine negates, uh, they can be a little bit uh, hard to get around when they get you know when she's got full Appaloosa, full uh, full Herald of Ultimateness, you know Nina, but I have pretty mu I pretty consistently got it around them, but it isn't fun for sure to go second against Drytron. I don't think it's fun for any deck to be honest, um, <laughs> but the searchers. Uh, uh, you know, they, they both help you search and they also help you kind of, um, bait negates. Um, then I run three to near, near servant. It's like, <laughs> this card is so good in this deck. Uh, obviously it's just for Ecclesia who, it, what's important to notice it can grab it from the deck or from the graveyard. So it's, you know, pretty much always live. Um, one of the, and that's why I don't run like Flutteries because the thing with Flutteries is it special summons itself and that doesn't work in Flutteries. You need to just run the one... Ecclesia, which searches your traps and whatnot. Um, and what's really funny about this is if any of your Flunderies are banished because, like, they negated them coming back or they, they basically destroyed them and they, they're they gone for the turn, you could actually use this to send Shireg and get a free search. Just search any of your Flunderies cards. So it, it's really funny in that way. Obviously, you can send Entis or, you know, Omega to recycle things. You know, Entis to destroy, Omega to recycle. This to search, this to um, kind of, like, shift a card. To, to the deck and then draw a new one. Um, you know, there's so many things you can do with just Ndidier Servant. And then obviously you grab Ecclesia and search for a trap. So you gain so much advantage off of this. But the Shureks are the, like the main reason this works so goddamn well. Because a lot of the time the opponent will destroy your uh, Thunderese monsters and they'll get real cocky. Like, oh yeah, I stopped you. And then just immediately search another one, you know. And it, it, it feels really good because if you have the trap card or the field spell, you can just summon it on their turn, and that's it's hard for them to get around it if you act, if you summon it at the right time uh, during their turn. Like usually, I summon it at like the start, and what can they do? 
Um, not usually much, you know, because um, if they waste your their hand traps on your turn and you have the ways you have ways to summon your shit on their turn, it's pretty hard to, you know, hard to deal with. And this this really helps uh, on multiple levels, you know. Um, then I run the uh, do dogmatic punishment um, to basically, uh, you know, send cards from the extra deck, um, whether it's Shurag or Intus or whatever, and also destroy a card. Um, and this card, it's, it's so funny how this and Nadir Servant basically I, gave so much consistency to this deck. You know, I hear a lot of people talk about how this deck bricks. Mine doesn't brick. It, it, it is so fucking consistent. It's insane. And it's, a lot of it's thanks to the Dogmatica cards and thanks to Harpy's Feather Storm. Um, because if, if they fucking stop your Eaglin, you know... Are in your win monsters, and they're like, oh yeah, we've won. You just activate Harpy's Feather Storm. Like, if they fucking hand trap Eaglin, or like, you know, like, if they, if they hand trap you and they don't destroy it, you've got them. Um, and how you just normal, if you just can, like, especially, if, sorry, if you can normal summon any of these Flunderies cards, you know, get any of your win monsters out, and then you can just chain Feather Storm, like, with your, you know, because you can summon on their turn. It's just insane. Like, this is always live. And Dogmatica Punishment basically just. It helps so much. Like a lot of the time, I'll activate Dogmatica Punishment, and then I'll chain Feather Storm, and I'll get a search, a destruction, um, a search with Shurag, sure, a destruction, and uh, basically uh, Feather Storm will go off, and they can't do anything. And it's just, it's so beautiful. Um, and yeah, I'm always main deck Feather Storm in my opinion because it's like, ha look how many one monsters you run. You run, you know, three Eaglin, one two Can, uh, two Impin, one Ryza, and then you, you run like. Like these, these search your wind monsters. Uh, if you have another uh, Flundery's card, this searches your uh, field spell. This is a searcher, you know, top three. This searches top six. Um, this, if if you have something banished, can send Shurag and search. Um, this can send Shurag and search. You have so many options to search uh, your wind monsters, and so like I I've never had a moment where like um, Harpy's Feather Storm is not live. You know what I mean? And if it's not live for like two seconds, it's live the next second. And it's ridiculous when you activate it because they just their whole turns over and it auto wins against Tri Brigade. It auto wins against pretty much everything um, because um, the second you set up that Impin, you, this gives you room to basically set things up. And once you set things up, it is very difficult to get around Flunderies. And this basically says, "Yeah, fuck your turn. You don't get to have it, but I'm gonna get to play on your turn. So eat a dick, you know." And this just mm, it feels so good to just say no, no monster effects. Uh, your turn's over, but my turn's, like, this is my turn now, you know? <laughs> so, yeah, that's what Feather Storm does. Main deck it. Uh, like, I, I, I cannot stress that enough. It's so good. Um, it's so good. Um, like, at least try it. You know, it's so good. Um, it wins me, like, every time I play it, it wins me games. Um, and then, um, you know, obviously City of Dreams, so you can normal someone on your opponent's turn, because it's totally, it's totally not annoying to deal with. It's totally fun. It's, it's, it's very fun mechanic. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so, you know, you got that, um, to basically tell your opponent to go fuck themselves. <laughs> um, you know, so, obviously, uh, you need to hit this, it's so good, like, uh, like, Impin searches it, obviously, but you want to hit it, like, the second you can, you know, and if they stop your Impin, it, this basically makes, like, if they stop you from normal, sum starting your normal summon chain, this can basically make sure you can play on their turn, you know, so, it helps you against hand traps and all that, so, it's one of those things where if they stop you from setting up on your turn, uh, like I said, you can activate this as long as you have a Flunderese card in your hand, which is pretty easy to, ha you know, have one, so, um, and then just set up uh, before they can do anything, because they've wasted their hand traps on your turn. Um, and then, um, you know, um, I run o Omega, obviously, basically just for Nadir Servant and Dogmatica Punishment, so I can recycle cool shit, you know. Um, not that I really I usually need help recycling, because... You know, <laughs> this deck recycles like nobody's business, but sometimes it's nice. Um, um, then I run um, three Entis, obviously, just to destroy shit, um, and also to bait negates. Um, Zeus, just because it's A, it's cool, and B, there's like a like a 0.5% chance sometimes you'll make it. Um, but it's it's only happened to me once, and it's kind of funny when it happens, but it's mostly just there because it's cool and I like Lyralusk, you know, and it goes with my, my Lyralusk because it's a nice little cute thing, you know. I like I and downed magicians in here because of Zeus and also because look how cute she is. Uh, then I run um, a simple Nightingale because I love Lyralusk, as I said a thousand times this video. Uh, then Recital Starling, um, obviously. Then Ensemble Robin just because, you know. 
ask. And then I run um, to Ferrajet, um, not just because Tribe Raid Gate are cool, but because if you send it within their servant or Dogmatica punishment, and you have a cop, like you have a brick in your hand, or you have something that you don't necessarily want in there right now, uh, like a duplicate or something of something, you can basically uh, send that and kind of get a card you want. Um, and then you have three of the best card in the extra deck that basically, um, uh, if any of these cards is banished, um, um, <laughs> it searches them. Like, your, your opponent will basically be like, uh, it searches a card. Basically, your opponent will be like, haha, I, I like ghost ogred your, uh, uh, Rabina or whatever, or I, I destroyed it somehow, and now it's banished, and you don't have a turn. <laughs> you activate, like, Dogmatic Punishment Censure. <laughs> And search, you know, or you can do Nadir Servant, Shurag Search, and, like, um, an, an important thing to note is, uh, depending on how you normal summon, if you normal summon using this, or if you just normal summon using your normal summon, um, this technically doesn't count toward, it doesn't count towards your, your, your initial normal summon. So if you activate this and you normal summon, uh, like, Rabina by, or, or Eaglin or Banish Rabina or Rabina Ban like, banishing, like, uh, toucan or whatever like if you if you that that normal summon doesn't count towards your first one so if you activate this and they basically negate that you can still normal summon and vice versa if you normal summon and then you activate this you know you still got it so basically you can bait um you can bait their uh their destructions you know their negates and all that basically uh let them think oh they've got you and then you know sure egg <laughs> Uh, with Nadir Servant, and you can get your combo started, uh, you know, if you have the field spell or whatever. Or, you know, you can just activate this on their turn and normal summon with, Shur you know, using Shureg as, you know, the card you search with Shureg. It's ridiculous. There's so many things you can do with it, obviously. You know, um, Dark Samor, because um, if, <laughs> if you play this card going first against a back row deck, they've lost just automatically. Um, then, um, you know, um, like, I played this against Eldritch the first time I played it. Hysterical. Um, then Barrier Statue, just because you don't really need it that much, but, um, you know, it does help in certain situations. And then uh, Feather uh, feather Duster. And like I said, there's more room in the side deck. You can kind of do whatever you want with it. There's, like, um, you know, it, it really depends on what you're going against. These are the main three that I would focus on, obviously. Um, you know, uh, I think those are, like, the really important ones. But otherwise, you know, the deck's pretty flexible. Um... You know, I, I hope y'all, you know, like what you see. I, I know I, I, like, talk a little shit when I make these videos, you know, about, like, um, you know, people who don't play the deck right or whatever, but I, I don't really mean it, you know what I mean? Like, I, I really, really love uh, Wing Beast, you know, I love Burbs, and uh, that's pretty much exclusively what I play. I mean, I have a Melfi deck as well, um, and a Trap Tricks deck, because they're cute. Um, but for the most part, I just play really cute shit, and I really like Burbs, and I'm really glad Wing Beasts are starting to get good, so... You know, if you like Wing Beast and you like you know like you you, know, you like cute decks, um, and you want to see more of our content, uh, please feel free, free to like and subscribe, and you know let me know what you think of the deck in the comments. Uh, you know, <laughs> I really like it; it works really well. I, I would say I have like um like what would you say maybe like a ninety eight percent um win rate with Close it? To that, yeah, yeah, something Close like that. that. Yeah, something like that. So, um, you know, it works really well, and I I recommend all of you to try it. You know. I'm not one of those people who's going to get pissed at you for net decking. I just want y'all to play burbs because they're cute. All right. Peace out. Bye-bye.